Hello, in this video we're going to look at the marginal rate of substitution of leisure for income and then solve a few problems. The marginal rate of substitution of leisure for income gives the amount of income a person is willing to give up for an additional hour of leisure while holding utility constant. For example, if the marginal rate of substitution of leisure for income equals 14, this person is willing to give up $14 of income for an additional hour of leisure once again leaving utility unchanged. The marginal rate of substitution can be thought of as the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve. We can show that the marginal rate of substitution equals the marginal utility of leisure, mu subscript L, divided by the marginal utility of income, mu subscript Y. Utility maximization requires that the marginal rate of substitution equals the wage. So let's look at problem one. A person has marginal utility of leisure and income given by the following. The marginal utility of leisure equals y and the marginal utility of income equals l, where y is income and l hours of leisure. What is the person's marginal rate of substitution of leisure for income at l equals 12 and y equals 60? So we form our marginal rate of substitution, the ratio of the marginal utility of leisure to the marginal utility of income. The marginal utility of leisure is given by at y, and the marginal utility of income is given by L, so y divided by L. And now we're going to substitute what is y, 60, and what is L, 12, and we get an answer of 5. In other words, this person is willing to give up $5 of income for one more hour of leisure, holding utility constant. Problem two, a person's utility is as follows. Utility equals the following. We want to solve for the marginal rate of substitution of leisure for income. We're going to solve this time for the marginal utility of leisure. We're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to L. So looking here at the L term, we're going to take this exponent, the 0.4, move that down in front. Then we're going to subtract one from this exponent on the L term. And we don't have to do anything with the Y term. Simplifying this, simplifying this up here, 0.4 times 40 is 16, and then L to the 0.4 minus 1 is just L raised to the minus 0.6 power. So that is the marginal utility of leisure. As for the marginal utility of income, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to income, this 0.6 gets moved down in front, so 0.6 times 40 here now. We're going to subtract 1 from the exponent on the y term, so 0.6 minus 1 will leave us with y raised to the minus 0.4 power, and then the 0.6 times the 40 is where this 24 is coming from. Setting up our marginal rate of substitution formula, the marginal utility of leisure divided by the marginal utility of income, making our substitutions then, and now simplifying, 16 divided by 24 is 2 thirds. Now I'm going to take this L to the minus 0.6 power and move that down into the denominator. And then I'm going to take this Y to the minus 0.4 power and move that up into the numerator. Now we can add the exponents on the Y term and the exponents on the L term. And that will give us 2Y divided by 3L as the marginal rate of substitution. Here a person's utility function has a slightly different functional form. Uh, L squared times Y. We want to solve for the marginal rate of substitution once again. We're going to get our marginal utilities. The marginal utility of leisure is given by 2LY. Take that 2, bring that down in front off the L term. Okay, so the exponent here on L comes down in front, and then we subtract 1 from that exponent, just leaving us with L. And then for the marginal utility of income, we will take the exponent on the y term, bring that down in front, and then subtract 1 from the exponent on the y term. And the exponent on the y term is just 1, so 1 minus 1 means y is raised to the power of 0, and anything raised to the power of 0 is just 1. So the marginal utility of income is just L squared. Forming our marginal rate of substitution then, we're going to take 2Ly and divide that by L squared. Canceling here a little bit, we're just left with 2y divided by l. Okay, I'll stop here.